Hey, what is up everybody? Michael Crump back here again talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation homebrew news and much, much more. So for those of you who have recently been enjoying the PS4 12.52 and 12.50 jailbreak, did take a look back at the original project page. Again, this is on GitHub underneath Gold Hen, and then the title is Henloader underscore LP for L being laps and P being for poop exploit. So if we go down into the readme, you will see that now it is filled out. We can see that there are some credits for all of those that was involved with it. And then there was a note that says this readme is still a work in progress. Any pull request is welcome, but please note that it may take some time for us to review it. Thanks for your patience. Now there is some guidance here. It says if you're updating firmware to 12.52 and have used BDJ or Lua before on lower firmwares, you must have the latest gold hen on a FAT32 or XFAT USB. Partition type must be MBR and on large USBs, you will probably have to format it with a tool like Rufus and gold hen needs to be named to payload.bin. So again, what that is stating here is, is that you can use a USB drive in order to update it. Now it does state here that gold hen embedded on the disk will always be used if gold hen for the first time. So please use a USB to update gold hen when there is a new release of the payload. The payload is copied to the slash data partition of your PS4 and will be used from then on. And it also states that hen loader can be used with any other hen that you prefer. Just replace the payload.bin on the USB. Now, if we head over here to the releases, there is still just the 1.0 release, which I've already covered in a video. But yeah, it's pretty simple. You just download this ISO image, burn it to a disc, pop it in your PlayStation 4, and you can have Gold Hen running. Now, the PlayStation community has been working on an auto loader, and there is a version of this that is currently out right now. Over here at this Lucas Lil Dev and then Henloader underscore LP. And you'll see there is an auto load version. Now with this version, you do not have to select between laps or poop exploit. It will just do it automatically there for you. Now with several folks in the community taking a look at this, there has been a couple of new versions that folks have been working on, such as this one, which says that the autoloader poops is stabled, removed the AIO patch and laps. And so we can see it load up here. And there we go. This is for firmware 9.00 and boom, it is jailbroken. Now I don't have a link for this version and it seems like even folks that have been asking, there has been no reply, but I will definitely let you know because it will probably be merged into the main repo if it turns out to help stability. And then I saw another update over here in Lightning Mods server, which is called PKG Zone in the channel called ETA Hen Public Test. And that is that there was a new build that came out and I'll just go to the version here and it says new test build. This one expires on Christmas, includes the frames per second counter for 8.20 and below currently only for PS4 games, but we'll have the PS5 support hopefully before release. If you get any crashes or the console doesn't respond, then restart and try again. And that he did state that the build is only to test the frames per second counter items flow will not work. And there is a new build of that that came out, which still expires on Christmas, but does have the improved frames per second counter, which no longer requires an internet connection. Now, if you go to my tweet, you can download this version directly without going and signing up for PKG Zone, but I definitely recommend that you do so. Now, Lightning Mods himself has released a couple of videos showing this a bit in action. So here was one of the games, which was PT. You can see up there at the top, you get frames per second, GPU, CPU, RAM, and then the PS5's IP address. And then we see a little bit of Call of Duty Black Ops here with zombies. 
Again, up at the top is the frames per second counter and so forth. And here's a little bit of the action in real time. Anyways, there is a link to the Discord if you want to go ahead and check that out. Next up, very good news, and that is that PS4 Explorer 2.0 now works with firmware 12.50 and 12.52. So previously in my videos, you may have seen me try to access this and I wasn't able to. Now that has been fixed and you can go ahead and download it right now over here on PKG Zone. And you should see that the updated date here is 2025-11-26. So you can click right here just to download the PKG or through the Homebrew Store. Let's go ahead and give that a shot on my PS4. Okay, so previously when we ran PS4 Explorer 2.0, it came back with a message saying that firmware 12.52, as you can see right here, is not supported. So let's go ahead and close out of that application and let's update to the new version. So I'm just gonna come right over here to the homebrew store and we're gonna go to store apps and we're gonna go to PS4 Explorer 2.0 and we're gonna take the option right here to update now and the installation's complete now. So let's go ahead and try to run the application again. Okay, there we go. Firmware 12.52, we now have root access as well as we can go into the sandbox mode. We'll go ahead and go into the root access and there we go. All of our Files and folders are just like they are supposed to be, and now that application is working on 12.52. Next up, I've been watching the Netflix and Hack repo for quite some time now, and I do have a video showing you how to get up and running with this, but one of the things that I noticed was, was that there was a PS4 folder that appeared and as you can see it shows right there as yesterday but if i go to the ps4 folder and i scroll down here you can see that there is some information now on how you can use this as a user land exploit now they do state here that laps is a work in progress and they do state that the ps4 version requires very specific circumstances to work and that there are some workarounds located below. It looks like you'll need Netflix installed on your PS4 below the latest version. So if you have an existing jailbreak, you can just simply install the vulnerable version in your region. Or if you are on the latest firmware, you can downgrade Netflix via the man in the middle attack by downloading from PSN. But again, you won't be able to jailbreak until a new kernel exploit releases. So this would be for maybe some of those on 1302. Now for the exploit, you would obviously need a PS4 on versions 9.00 all the way through 12.02. And what they state here with using this is, is that if you can't use BDJB or if you have been stuck using PPPawn, then now you should be able to use Netflix and Hack, especially as this becomes more of a working solution instead of a work in progress. Now, I won't be going through all of the instructions here on downgrading Netflix and installing this from scratch, but as things develop, then I will definitely be taking a closer look at this. Next up, I saw this PS5 exploitable firmware research and use website and this is by the developer master zero or i believe that that's what they go by but they have the different types of playstation 5s here so you've got a digital one here you've got a disc version here and if it is in green then that means that it is confirmed working and so you could see right here if you have a 1.00 through 5.50 you could use webkit lua Y2JB or BDJB versus, you know, going to something like 8.00 to 10.01, where we don't have the availability, at least at this moment, to use WebKit, we can use one of these other versions. Anyways, I really like this little guide, and I think for those of you that are wondering which firmware is exploitable, this might be fairly helpful and handy for you. Next up, a couple of quick updates, and one of these is, is that John Pornblum, who manages the FTP serve, which is a simple FTP server for jailbroken PlayStation 4s and PlayStation 5s, 
has had a couple of new commits here and mainly you can see that the commits were cosmetic related and a self to elf speed improvement and there was a couple of those commits recently added in here so anyways the ftp server is always getting a bit better and then there was another smaller commit over here from alizif and it was for the remote lua loader fork that he has made from the original repo and if we go into the commits here we can see that added 5.x support added 6.x support 7 and 8 x support was been added in just the last couple of days here now i know a lot of you may have started to move on from the remote lua loader but still pretty cool progress nonetheless and there might be some scenarios where you might want to use it again and then the last thing and that is that the auto jailbreak tool that victorious has been building there was a new release that came out and that puts us at version 1.21. So we can see in the change log here, added different PKGs to the disk that can be installed through debug settings. So this does include the YouTube app. So for YouTube jailbreak, items flow 1.12, PS5 Explorer, and a couple of other packages, as well as updating the web server and the FTP server to the latest versions. Okay, so that is going to do it for this one. Thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out.